factors. But CSF sh may show increase in tau proteins. The differential diagnosis of the Alzheimer's disease. Number one, with the normal pressure hydrocephalus, there is early prominent gait disturbances with only mild memory loss. Number two, Parkinson disease, resting tremors with a stoop posture, bradykinesia, and a mask face. Number three, tumors. There is early onset of seizure. B12 deficiency, loss of sensibility to position and vibration sense with a positive Babinski. In pseudodementia, there is a past history of long-term depression. In Kruzfeld jacob disease, there is rapid progression associated with ataxia, rigidity, and myoclonus. In early stage of Alzheimer's, you have problems with daily keeping track of finances. Patients may be lost on walks and while driving an automobile. In the middle stage, patient is unable to work easily, lost and confused, requires daily supervision. Language may be impaired especially and then comprehension and naming of objects may be impaired. Also impairment in fluency and comprehension and there's repetition. They're also unable to do simple calculations or tell time. They may have a form of cortical blindness due to changes in visual cortex, hallucinations, delusions. They may accuse their spouse of infidelity. They may not recognize old friends, think a visitor is burglar, nighttime wandering may be disruptive to the family, Shuffling gait would be present with general rigidity with slow awkward movements. This looks Parkinsonian but rarely has rapid rhythmic resting tremors. End stage Alzheimer's. Patient will be rigid, mute, incontinent, and bedridden. Hyperactive tendon reflexes. Generalized seizures may also occur. Myoclonic jerk of muscles or whole body raise the possibility of CJD. Death from malnutrition, secondary infection, or heart disease could occur. So the other causes of dementia. We know the most common cause is Alzheimer's disease, which affects 50 to 70 percent of the patient. The second most common cause of dementia is a vascular dementia, 25 percent of patients. Levy body dementia, 15 percent of patients, and the frontotemporal dementia. The less common 